I have got 30 minutes to get ready before we need to go and pick up Cozy from his grandma and granddad's house. So oh, let's see what we can do. I think I need a clip or something. I spent most of the morning sorting his room out because he's, he's moving into his own room. Not tonight, but this week at some point, and I'm actually quite sad about it. I'm sure a lot of you will already know by now that I found a lump in my breast and um, I was actually struggling to get it seen. So I phoned the doctors quite a few times. First time I phoned, they basically didn't even ask me what was wrong. They were just like, sorry, there's no appointments. Try again tomorrow morning. So I said, listen, please, I've got a lump and it's really worrying me. So then she replies to me and says, um, phone back in an hour. She kind of goes like, oh, as if to say, right, okay. Um, can you please phone me back in an hour? Which <sighs> I hate phoning the doctor. So I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. I will phone you back in an hour. Thank you so much. Because obviously she was trying to sort something out for me to go and see a doctor. But then I phoned back the hour later and it was a different woman who answered the phone. I said, hi, I was told to phone back because I've got a lump in my breast. And before even like hearing me out, just kind of like shot me down, like there's no appointments today. You're going to need to phone back again tomorrow morning and try your luck again. So I then found like this online system, which I was able to kind of like fill in for a routine appointment. I wasn't actually sure what that was at the time. So I just kind of like filled it in and hoped for the best. It was, I, I don't even know if you were allowed to make appointments on it or anything. I just filled it in. And the next morning I got into the line again. We phoned. So the surgery opens, right, at half eight. And Connor and myself were phoning, so we were trying to get in at the same time so that we could be quite quick on there. Connor got on at 29 past, got in the queue, and mine always just kept saying line busy, line busy, because so many people phoned when it opened that I couldn't even get into the queue. So if Connor hadn't done that for me, I wouldn't have even got into the queue for a start. We were something like number 42. And I kid you not, <laughs> we were waiting on the call for about nearly a couple of hours. I think it took us an hour just to get to number 29. Got told again, I'm so sorry, there's no appointments today. But then later on in the day, I was so lucky, so lucky because I filled in the form. They must've been doing the online forms at the same time. I got a text saying, hi, we've got you an appointment for this upcoming Monday. I do have an appointment now, which I'm very nervous about. <laughs> at least I don't have to make any more phone calls, I suppose. It feels like a hard little bead. I can move it around. It's halfway between my breast and my um, and my armpit, but I suffer really bad with health anxiety ever since I had Cozy. Any small pain, anything like that, I'm just thinking worst case scenario. I was gonna wait for it to go away by itself, but I've had it for over two weeks now, and obviously, if, if, you, if you have anything unusual, you should always, always get it checked. I've been trying to keep myself busy, which is why I've been doing Cozy's room, especially because he hasn't been here. I've had a lot more time to kind of like, overthink things. Fingers crossed that I go on Monday and they, she just goes, oh, it's a swollen lymph node or it's a little cyst or, you know, it's just something that you get. Maybe it's something because I breastfed at the beginning. Fingers crossed it's absolutely nothing, but <laughs> telling my brain that is really, really hard. Because I finished putting Cozy's room together. I have full on finished his room. I want to add more colour and at the same time i want to i need to buy him i want a monitor that looks over his cot rather than one that just sits and looks dead ahead if that makes sense i need to take some stuff down as well because there's a mobile above his crib and i'm pretty sure that's going to be a hazard now right because he's able to like pull on things and if he gets a string into his crib i feel like that's a no-brainer i just found that sitting down when i do my makeup or if i dry my hair I found that just sitting down and talking to the camera has been so much help to me. And I feel like I'm sat here talking to a friend. Just like I'm sat on FaceTime and someone's just listening to me ramble. I've done all like my chores and stuff. I did want to work out. I really did want to work out. But I've done like so much moving about and taking like boxes downstairs and stuff. I was just like, eh. I might do it later when Cozy comes. But if I don't get ready and then it gets dark and I start, I get, I don't know. I get really weird when it starts getting dark. I guess that's what seasonal depression is, but when it gets dark, I just get really sad. I feel like sometimes if I've got my makeup done and ready, I just feel nice and I feel like I can just do stuff and be more productive. If I'm dressed and ready and I feel nice, I can I can get more stuff done. I'm so bad because I've got no storage. I've got absolutely no storage, right? 
and I'm just sat here like rambling knowing for a fact that at some point it's probably going to go off I'm not going to be able to finish this video and it's going to say storage full I had to go through Cozy's clothes again today it's mad the things the things that I get attached to it's not even funny like I look at every single piece of clothes I look at every single piece of I look at every single piece of clothing that he owns and I can associate it to like a memory that I love and I'm like I've got to keep that, I've got to keep that, I've got to keep that or we'll save that for the next baby or it's just, it's so hard. I don't think I've got, I don't think my mum has any clothes. I'm not bothered that she hasn't kept them if that makes sense. That's Connor. He's gonna bet you anything he's gonna shout when we're like we need to go. We need to go now babby. That's what he's gonna say to me. Okay I'm calling it right now. Hello. <laughs> I said to the camera he's coming up and he's gonna have to he's gonna say we have to go. We do. <laughs> and then we have to go. They look beautiful. Yeah. You just saying that? No, you always look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Very much. When you turn the camera off, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, you always look like a princess. Oh, thank you. Straight from the detectives we film. <laughs> That's really rude. That was rude. Can't believe you said such things to me. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? It is almost three o'clock. It took me 25 minutes and 46 seconds. Uh, oh no, I've broken my bag. Okay. Thank you. Bye.